Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is your teacher, Evelyn, saying Mabuhay from Oxford. And our lesson for today is about homographs. Okay, let's define homographs. They are words that are spelled exactly the same, but we pronounce them sometimes differently. And of course, they function differently. Now, let me just give you an example. Lead and lead. Okay, the same exact spelling, but they are pronounced differently. Therefore, they have totally different meaning. Okay, so one is a verb. The other one is a noun. Okay, the same with project and project. Again, project is a verb. Project is a noun. Let me give you an example of an adjective and a verb. Let's say, for example, perfect and perfect. Perfect is an adjective. Perfect is a verb. The same with your present and present. Present is an adjective and present is actually a verb. So, there are so many words that you can study and make sure that you also study their um, pronunciation, study their meaning as well. So, you know exactly when to use them and how to say them. I'm going to give you a list of words here. So, maybe I'm going to provide you at least uh, 20 to 25 words. And, of course, all you need to do is look them up which one is actually stressed on the first syllable and which one is stressed on the second syllable. So just to give you a clue, all the verbs are stressed on the second syllable. If you stress the first syllable, that is either a noun or an adjective. Okay, so let's just make it clear. There are words that are spelled exactly the same and pronounced exactly the same as well. So, same pronunciation, same spelling, but different meaning. Like, for example, lie and lie. Okay? So, lie when you're not telling the truth. Okay? That is actually a, a verb. Or lie, which means you actually lay down. Again, both are verbs. You lied to me. Lie down, please. Okay, so you have words, but they are meant differently. So you just have to read the context. You have to read the, in, the meaning of the sentence so you know exactly which one is being used here. Is it this meaning or this meaning? So again, all you need to do is understand that in English, there are so many words that are spelled the same pronounce exactly the same but they are used differently because they have totally different meaning which means to say there are words that have many definitions so that's what you need to understand don't just look at um, the noun or just the verb study them because some sometimes you use them as a noun sometimes you use them as um, an adjective sometimes you use them as a verb and so on and so forth so all you need to do is check the definitions Okay, don't just concentrate on one definition because again, there are so many uses of a word. So, let me give you some more. How about object and object? Object is actually a noun. It means a thing. But when you say, I object, okay, I object, that's a different meaning. Okay? So meaning you don't actually agree with the uh, uh, opinion of another person and you have another one or probably you want a different view of something or you have a different view of something. So you object. How about record and record? Exactly the same thing. Record is a noun. Record is a verb. So as I said, I'm just going to list down words here that you can actually study on your own okay I don't want to waste so much of your time 
All I want is to let you know that there are words in English that are spelled exactly the same, may actually be pronounced exactly the, the same, or they are pronounced differently, therefore they mean differently as well. So even the words that are spelled exactly the same and pronounced exactly the same, they also have different definitions. Okay, so all you need to do is, again, study the definitions. Words can be used as a verb, as an adjective, as a noun, and so on and so forth. Okay, so just a heads up, you have a lot to study. But English is not a difficult language. All you need to do is learn the techniques. There are things that you need to actually discover. There are secrets in English. But the moment you discover them, your English is actually going to become way better. Okay, so I hope this is helping you understand that English is not a complicated language. You just have to study them by heart. My name again is Teacher Evelyn saying good morning, good afternoon, and good evening wherever you are in the world. I'm greeting you mabuhay from Oxford. Ciao!